Welcome. This video is going to answer one of the biggest questions I had about this machine uh, when I was looking at buying it. So you can see here, I got some of the John Deere quick catch weights. We're going to see if this thing will lift them. All right, so here we are at the back of the 580. Uh, we're looking at the integral sleeve hitch right here. Uh, this is the power hydraulic one. Um, I have a video on the assembly and installation of this hitch. Uh, one thing, as you may notice, I do have the hitch pin I used in that video. Uh, of course, this hitch, for whatever reason, did not come with the proper length pin. Um, I have one on order. Uh, I haven't gotten it yet. At least I haven't gotten it at the time that I'm making this video. Uh, but what I'm going to do here is answer the biggest question I had um, about this hitch that I mentioned we would get to in my uh, other video on this hitch, the installation and assembly and all that. Um, but the biggest question I have is how much will this thing lift? Um, as you may know, you need a lot of weight in order to pull something through the ground, um, especially for this hitch to dig into the ground since I demonstrated in the last video that uh, this hitch is floating. Um, it is done by just a slot in the linkage arm there and just the way that everything lines up that slot is positioned so that if there's any upward uh, force applied to this hitch it can just slide along the bolt um, in that slot. Uh, because of that there's absolutely no downforce whatsoever whether the engine's running or not um, and in order to counter that you need weight to actually push an implement through the ground. Now, I have plans to build a pretty cool tool to help loosen up the gravel and dirt in my driveway. That's one of my big projects for the summer. I'm gonna do that and then use the box scraper to uh, you know, level everything out, pull a lot of gravel and dirt from the top of the driveway down to the lower parts of the driveway. So in order to do that, that implement I feel is gonna have to be very, very heavy, um, possibly you know, 100 pounds or more, you know, just in order to actually dig into the ground and not just bounce on top. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is just test to see how much this hitch can actually lift. So what I did was take a piece of steel I had laying around and I put it on the back of the sleeve hitch. Um, this piece right here is going to be what I'm going to use to build the new sleeve hitch implement on. Um, I basically sandwiched it in between there the bolts on the back to tighten that. I just tightened them towards it, so this is locked in there pretty good. Um, and I can hang the John Deere quick catch weights on it. So each of these are between 40 and 42 pounds. I saw another video on YouTube, they're not exactly 42 pounds, but they're about 42. Um, we'll probably call it just an even 40, um, just for round numbers here. So I'm gonna start out with 80 pounds of weight. 80 pounds shouldn't be a problem. Uh, the Brindley box scraper that John Deere sells as an accessory, I believe on the box it said it's 79 pounds. So they shouldn't have any problem whatsoever lifting uh, 80 pounds of weight. Uh, one thing I did do is take off, well I didn't take completely off, I just lowered it and disconnected. Basically I didn't slide it out from the machine. But I disconnected the mower deck. So the mower deck, the service manual for this machine says it is 151 pounds. So that in itself is quite a bit of weight. If it can lift that 151 pound deck, I don't see any problem with putting, you know, four of these weights on there, uh, which I'm gonna do, and we'll see if it can do it. Um, the only difference is you're lifting that deck straight up, whereas this is, you know, lifting it at an angle and further away from where the fulcrum is. Uh, with that being said, uh, I'm going to start this thing up and we'll get to it.
All right, so you can see hanging on there right now is 160 pounds. Um, that's quite a bit. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna ever be using quite this much weight uh, when I actually use this thing. I just wanted to see purely if it could do it. Um, I gotta say, I don't think it'll do it very well. I don't know if you saw, but it was actually slightly uh, bending the part of the back of the frame there where it uh, bolts onto the hitch itself. Um, I think there's just not really enough support around that area to actually, you know, lift that and hold it um, for an extended period of time. Now, for simply lifting and moving it for a little bit, it may be all right. Um, of course, when you're dragging something through the ground, it is going to not really have too much weight on the hitch itself. All that weight's going to just be going into the ground. It's not really going to be holding it. But uh, I would think if I can get, you know, I don't know, 100 pounds or so uh, of that implement, who knows, I may not even need, you know, these extra weights on it. Um, I'm expecting that tool that I make to be around 75 or so pounds. Um, that may do it. So I guess time will tell there. Um, so yeah, for now, uh, just stay tuned. We'll see, uh, see that tool get built and uh, see some more use of this hitch. So Hopefully you can see now how much this thing will lift. I mean, it will do it, but I think 160 pounds is a bit much. It didn't seem to struggle whatsoever at 80, but uh, I probably wouldn't want to go too much more than 100 pounds. So at the end of the day, I don't think this hitch is uh, really capable of any extremely heavy lifting. I think the hydraulics on the tractor itself are capable of a lot more, uh, but I think the hitch here is the limiting factor. Um, any, any reasonable size implement that I think you're gonna put on this thing, I think it'll handle no problem. Um, honestly, I think running four of those 40, 42 pound weights uh, is a bit much anyway. I don't think I would ever get up to that kind of weight with this thing. Um, like I said, I think 100 pounds, you know, a little bit over the initial 80 that I put on it, I think you'd be fine there. But uh, I think going above 100, I think you'd probably not do so great. Um, with that box scraper being about 80 pounds, um, you know, I don't, I don't know how much weight a typical cinder block or concrete block weighs that they usually show you can add to it for extra weight. But I think uh, just one of the John Deere quick attach weights, I think would be more than enough on one of those to give it um, substantially more weight to, uh, you know, grade something or pull gravel around or dirt, whatever you're doing. Um, so yeah, I mean, at this point, uh, hopefully this was informative for you. Hopefully you actually can see what this does now. I could not find anything on the internet, uh, talking about this subject. So, uh, hopefully I answered some questions here. Um, if you have any further questions about this, uh, please let me know. And otherwise stay tuned for, uh, the build of that tool and some more use of this hitch. Have a good one.